The name Sibyl has its roots in the oracles of ancient Greece. These were female figures relied upon to convey divine knowledge of the unseen and the past, present, and future. Sybil has now been used to name an artificial intelligence tool for lung cancer risk assessment being developed by researchers at MIT's Abdul Latif Jamil Clinic for Machine Learning and Health, Mass General Cancer Center, and Chang Gung Memorial Hospital. Lung cancer is the deadliest cancer globally, with 1.7 million deaths resulting from it in 2020. It kills more people than the next three deadliest cancers combined. Florian Fintelman, a MGCC thoracic interventional radiologist and co-author on the new work said, It's the biggest cancer killer because it's relatively common and relatively hard to treat, especially once it has reached an advanced stage. In this case, it's important to know that if you detect lung cancer early, the long-term outcome is significantly better. Your five-year survival rate is closer to 70%, whereas if you detect it when it's advanced, the five-year survival rate is just short of 10%. Low-dose computed tomography scans of the lung are currently the most common way to screen for lung cancer with the hope of finding it in the earliest stages, when it can still be surgically removed. Sybil takes this screening a step further by analyzing the LDCT image data without the assistance of a radiologist to predict the risk of a patient developing lung cancer in the future. Within six years. In their new paper published in the Journal of Clinical Oncology, researchers at Jamil Clinic, MGCC, and CGMH demonstrated that Sybil obtained C indices of 0.75, 0.81 and 0.80 over the course of six years from diverse sets of lung LDCT scans taken from the National Lung Cancer Screening Trial, Mass General Hospital, and CGMH, respectively. Models achieving a C-index score over 0.7 are considered good, and over 0.8 is considered strong. The ROCUCS for one-year prediction using Sybil scored even higher, ranging from 0.86 to 0.94 with 1.00 being the highest score possible. Although Sybil has achieved a high level of success, the 3D nature of lung CT scans posed the challenge to build it. The imaging data used to train Sybil was largely absent of any signs of cancer because early-stage lung cancer occupies small portions of the lung. Denser portions of lung tissue are known as lung nodules and can occur from healed infections or airborne irritants. To ensure that Sybil would be able to accurately assess cancer risk, Fintelman and his team labeled hundreds of CT scans with visible cancerous tumors that would be used to train Sybil before testing the model on CT scans without discernible signs of cancer. MIT Electrical Engineering and Computer Science PhD student Jeremy Walwind, co author of the paper and Jamil Clinic and CSAIL affiliate, was surprised by how highly Sybil scored despite the lack of any visible cancer. The team discovered that the model could still have predictive power as to which lung would eventually develop cancer, even if the location of the cancer was not visible to humans. Co-author Leisha V. Sequist, a medical oncologist, lung cancer expert, and director of the Center for Innovation in Early Cancer Detection at MGH believes the results achieved with Sybil are important because lung cancer screening is not being deployed to its fullest potential in the U.S. or globally. And Sybil may be able to help bridge this gap. Sybil's potential to help diagnose lung cancer in non-smokers and former smokers is a significant development. According to the American Cancer Society, approximately 20% of people who die from lung cancer in the United States each year have never smoked or used tobacco. This translates to around 30,000 Americans who die from lung cancer each year despite never having smoked. The ability to accurately predict a patient's risk of developing lung cancer within six years, as demonstrated by Sybil, could help identify these cases earlier and improve their prognosis. It could also help reduce the stigma against lung cancer patients who have never smoked or used tobacco. Sybil's success has been attributed to the use of artificial intelligence and machine learning. By analyzing thousands of CT scans and identifying patterns and markers that are indicative of future cancer development, 
Sybil has effectively learned how to predict a patient's risk of developing lung cancer. However, the use of AI and machine learning in healthcare also raises ethical questions. Some critics have raised concerns that relying on machine learning models to make medical diagnoses could result in biased outcomes or perpetuate existing healthcare disparities. To address these concerns, the researchers behind Sybil have emphasized the importance of transparency in machine learning models. They have also called for greater diversity in the data used to train these models to ensure they are representative of the populations they are intended to serve. Despite these challenges, the potential benefits of AI and machine learning in healthcare are significant. In the case of Sybil, the ability to accurately predict a patient's risk of developing lung cancer could save lives and improve outcomes for millions of people around the world. As researchers continue to refine and develop these tools, the hope is that they will become even more accurate and effective, and that they will be accessible to all patients, regardless of their background or socioeconomic status. With Sybil leading the way, the future of lung cancer screening and early detection is looking brighter than ever before. Consider subscribing and comment on your thoughts down below.